Hey y'all, it's time once again to visit the Second Amendment. Let's get started. Three, two, one. in the mandatory buyback of quote-unquote assault weapons? I do believe that we need to do buybacks, and I'll tell you why. They are weapons of war with no place on the streets of a civil society. I will give the United States Congress 100 days to get their act together and have the courage to pass reasonable gun safety laws, and if they fail to do it, then I will take executive action. We have to have smart gun safety laws. And we cannot tolerate a society and, and, and live in a country with any level of pride when our babies are being slaughtered. What a lot of people don't understand is she's talking about a gun confiscation. There are a lot of people out there who are new gun owners who are saying, oh, no, well, you know, they're going to let you keep your guns. They just want these. No, it's a gun confiscation. And she, in the clip that you played, she talked about a mandatory buyback. But at, she did an interview in 2019 where she, was, where she said she supported a forced gun buyback. So, which is essentially a gun confiscation. Well, she's not inherently anti-gun. Right. She's anti-gun for you and I. Right. Exactly. <laughs> she, <laughs> exactly. But when it, when it comes to her, her having guns or whoever she has enforced her laws having guns, she doesn't have a problem with that. I just hope that they understand that continuing to vote for people like Kamala Harris or Joe Biden is effectively yeah. them taking those guns away from them. Look, folks, there are no true assault weapons available for purchase to the general public, no matter what they say. AR-15 is just a rifle. It's not an assault weapon. As I said the other day in my video, an M-16 is a military weapon, and it's supposedly an assault weapon. But let's get something straight, okay? Um, and it was pointed out to me by some of the comments on my last video. Yeah, anything can be considered an assault weapon. If you assault somebody with a broom, that's an assault broom, but they're not talking about that. They're talking about guns. Just a reminder that the Second Amendment was not enacted to protect you from your neighbors, was not there to protect you from somebody coming to steal stuff from your house or to keep you from being carjacked. The Second Amendment was enacted to protect the general public from the tyranny of government. Now, if that isn't a true enough statement for today, I don't know what is. Let's face it. Dictators, socialists, communists, authoritarians all make guns illegal. That's one of their first acts because an unarmed population is a society of victims. Let's not make that mistake thinking that it's okay not to have guns. Look what happened in Australia when they gave up their guns. They became subjects of the government. Is that really what you want here? So basically, folks, hold on to your guns. No matter what they say, hold on to your guns. Any law that restricts law-abiding citizens from keeping and bearing arms is unconstitutional. Let's make sure we repeat that over and over in your heads. Any law that restricts law-abiding citizens from keeping and bearing arms is unconstitutional. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, share, repost. It gets the word out, and I hope you got, got something good out of this. Deuces.